My mom has dementia, loss of memory. Elderly people are wandering off and getting lost. Cases like this are quite common than you might think. We checked all over, we couldn't find my mom. So I shouted, the old neighborhood, where is my mom? Where is my mom? I shouted severally. This could happen for various reasons. But one thing is responsible for most of the cases of parents disappearing. One thing so dangerous that it affects the victim's ability to think clearly and remember who or where they are. Dementia. My friend called me. There is a problem. My mom is lost. I said, what? They can't find her mom. This woman, Mrs. Rachel Afolabi, who suffers from dementia, has been declared missing by major media outlets in Nigeria for 10 days after she got lost while going out with her daughter, Mrs. Olajumoke Oda, in the city of Lagos. Our news was on Punch, on Facebook, Yoruba BBC, everywhere. I'll be, we are on the streets day and night. What if I told you that just by a spoken word from a certain man of God over the phone, this woman who was lost for 10 days was found just according to the spoken word. The man of God, Senior Prophet G.F. Adetuberu, the founder and general overseer of Faith and the Miracle International Church, prophesied exactly when and how Mrs. Rachel Afolabi would be found after a daughter reached out to the prophet of God through a friend who is a worker in the ministry. Let's find out how it all happened. I was on a call. I saw a call. So when I called her back, she just shouted, Buki, we found my mom. They found her. They said she moved to that area on Sunday morning when the word went out. My name is Bukola Kinlabi and I'm a worker on this mountain. Sometimes last week, my friend called me. There's a problem. My mom is lost. I said, what? They can't find her mom. She told me everything. I told her that, okay, let us be praying. She, she was expecting me to tell her, her father in the Lord, the prophet GFI in Tiberu. But I just told her, let us be praying. She was sending me messages. I didn't bother to tell daddy. I came to church, I saw him, but I didn't bother to tell him. So on Christmas Day, what really touched me was, she sent me a message that said, please pity me. I'm dying. I could not concentrate again. The message came in in the midnight. I spoke with her and I called one of our father in the lost protocol, 12, 12 a.m. Please, I need your help, please. He said, what happened? I was explaining to him, my friend's mom. He said, that is even here. I said, wow. He said, tell me everything that happened. I told him she had dementia. I told him everything. He said, okay. He just called me back like 10 minutes after. He now said, daddy said, the mama is alive and she's under a bridge. She's, and she's tying a wrapper that she's sleeping right now. I have assigned an angel to watch over her. They are going to find her Monday, Tuesday. Hey, I started shouting. Because I know that when, oh my God, when he speaks, heaven backs it up. There's no going back on whatever he says. And I was just screaming. I was just giving thanks. So I called her. She said, I told her, I said, and she really has faith. Daddy said this and this and this and this. And we're giving thanks to God. So when I told her, that was on Saturday in the midnight and early hours of Sunday. You know, I had this so much peace and confidence. So on Tuesday, I was on a call. I saw her call. I called her back. She just shouted, Buki, we found my mom. They found her. They said she moved to that area on Sunday morning when the word went out. So when she got to the area, 
They were giving her food. They didn't know her. And on that third day, the girl, you know, the lady that, that called them, she said the lady just went on Facebook and she picked her phone and she was like, ah, is this not the woman they are looking for on Facebook? And she gave them a call and that was how we found her. Now, let's hear what her daughter, Mrs. Olaju Mokehoda, has to say about what happened to her mother. My name is Mrs. Olaju Mokehoda. This is my son and this is my mom here. We are here to testify to the glory of God. On the 18th of December this, this month, I was going to shop with my, my mom. I brought her all the way from Oyo to come and be staying with me in Lagos so that I can take good care of her. So normally that's how we used to go to shop, but that day, the bike men, they refused to carry the two of us. So we took the bike one one. So I gave, normally the way I used to give instruction, I told the bike that carried her that day, I said, Oga, my mama knows Sabi Road, though. Just follow my own bag. As we were going, I was looking back. I was monitoring their movement. So it got to a particular place, like uh, uh, a particular junction. My own bike, as it entered the normal street that we are supposed to enter, our own bike man did not enter that street. It just went straight. Meanwhile, my mom has dementia, loss of memory. And besides, since she came down to Lagos, I've never told her, mommy, this is the name of this area. This is the name of this uh, street. This is, I've never told her anything. My own is just to hold her hands and go to everywhere we want to go to. Like, joke, I, I, I look back. Maybe we enter that street, the normal street we're supposed to enter. I look back and said, oh, God, wait, I don't see the bike. Man. We carry my mama. So he said, ah, maybe they have gone before us to where we are going. I said, okay, let's go and check first. So we ran down there. We checked. Is my mom here? They said, no. Okay, let's go and check other routes that maybe the bike man have entered another route. We checked all over. We couldn't find my mom. When we got back to the garage, we couldn't find my mom. The bike man was already, was about to, he has already even carried another passenger. So I shouted, stop, stop, stop. Where did you drop my mama? So I climbed his bike. So he just carried me. The, the, the distance from where we are going and where he told me he dropped my mom was so scary. I was like, is this where I called for you? So I shouted, the old neighborhood, where do you put, where is my mom, where is my mom? I shouted. The terrible part of it is I couldn't even find my mommy there. I was worried. The minute I called my sisters, I said, I can't find mommy. Oh. That was how we started looking for my mom. That day went five days, six days, seven days. You know, and this woman doesn't know anywhere. Because of uh, her health condition, she doesn't know our names. She only knows us as her children. She doesn't really know our names. She doesn't know anywhere to call that she's going to. No phone. So we were dying. We printed out uh, the poster, missing person. During those period, the, our news was on Punch, on Facebook, everywhere. We have been to different churches, different places. And they will always ask for money. Immediately, we transfer. If I don't transfer my sister, my brother, we are just transferring. Hey, want to buy a uh, Bible? Want to buy a candle? Put her name down. We put out here. My, my, myself and my sister, we went to a place. They said we should be rolling a rapper like this. We should be rolling a rapper. We should be rolling a rapper and be calling her name seven times. At the end of the day, they said that she's at the police station. So, I, this is my friend. We went to the same I institution. So I was, I chatted her, I said, Mommy Dabra, this and this have happened. So after a long chat with her, there was a particular day I was, God favored me because God wanted to favor her. So prophet told her to send Mama's picture or the, so immediately she sent the, the poster to prophet. So prophet told her that Mama will be found on Monday or Tuesday. That Mama is under a bridge, <laughs> sleeping. I started praising God. I said, even ordinarily that, it's a, I saw it as a great privilege that he even have to told her that my, my mom is alive, even speak concerning her case. So I was just joyful. I was just singing to God. Because I know that whatever it is, solution is here. Solution is from the God of Sinai Prophet Jeff and the I now told my sister, because for the past day that we have been looking for our mom, we did not take our bath, we did not brush, People begged me. I said, no, I'm not bathing and I'm not brushing. I'm not changing this cloth of mine. I will be, we are on the streets day and night. So I said, I want to be in the state that she will be. 
So it, it's got to a stage. People now advise us that we should go and take our bait that. Because we notice people are no more attending to us because we look like mad women. They were avoiding us. So on Monday, we were on the search. I told my sister, I said, today we are going to eat. Senior Prophet GF a little bit rough, have spoken. So Prophet now said something that, that uh, an angel has been assigned that will bring Mama out to where she will be found. So I was, I was glad. I was happy. Because for people that know Ajegule and Papa very well, to Alaba is a national market where Mama was found. You will know that it is a place that even till now, we don't even know how Mama got to that place. But on Tuesday, I was even at the police station because we were about to take uh, everything to LTV or AITV. So they asked for police reports. So I went to collect police reports. That was how my sister called me. Somebody said that they saw someone like Mama at Okoko. It was a lady that called my sister. Okay, you said your mommy was putting on so-so clothes, putting on so-so hairstyle and uh, lemon slippers. My sister said, that is my mom. Please help me to stay with her so that she will not go anywhere. The lady said, I'm right, I, I will not go anywhere. I will stand beside her. And she was, I know that that was the angel. So when my sister got there, she met our mother. She called me. She said, we have found our mom. It was the day prophet said an angel will bring her out. That mom, my mommy got to that area where she was found. Because they told us in that area that my mommy got to that area three days too. And that was when prophet, that I now recollect that that, that was the day prophet said, an angel would bring her out to where she would be found. Ma, this lady that called you, yes, ma is she a member of your family? <laughs> we have never seen her before. If she's, she even told her that she's not a Facebook type. That she just picked her phone and she was just scrolling. She used her data to watch her Facebook? Yes. She used her money to call you? The money to call. She was even promising my sister that she's there or she will not leave until my sister got there because it was a, somehow a long distance. So, and she was there. And the funniest part is when we wanted to, when we picked our mom and we were going home, people wanted to compensate her and she was running. So she was not even after the money or anything in reward. She, to her, she was, we have to like, auntie, come, auntie, come. She was running. To, to me, I believe she's the angel and she has to feel what God sent her. She was, she told us that she's not a Facebook type. That is why we came all the way from Lagos to come and testify to the goodness of the God of Senior Prophet J.F. Adetubere. I worship him. And Mama was found on a Tuesday. 28, yes. According to what the man of God said. Yes, ma'am. And how much did you pay our Father in the Lord? We did not how, pay. How much did he ask for? We did not pay one cobble. And we have spent a lot. Congratulations once Thank again. You, so what do you want to say about this God? That has been good to you and the members of your family. This God of senior prophet Jeb at is uh, is 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 an incomparable God. Is 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 the most powerful. I don't I don't even know how to how to I don't know the adjective I can use, but is the greatest. All the praise be unto God. Now. There is no doubt that the power of God to save, heal, and restore resides in a servant, senior prophet, G.F. Aditubero. A word was sent, and Mrs. Rachel Afolabi, who was declared missing for 10 days, was found exactly as prophesied by the prophet of God. All things are possible for God to do, just as the acts was found in the river in the days of Elisha the prophet, as it is written in the book of 2 Kings chapter 6 verse 6, Our God, who is the same yesterday, today, and forever, can locate a missing person by his word, free of charge. The case of Mrs. Rachel Afolabi is just one of the countless amazing miracles God performs through his servant, Senior Prophet G.F. Adetuberu. In Faith and Miracle International Church, Ibadan, or your state, Nigeria, miracles are still happening and God still heals, blesses, and delivers his people free of charge because Jesus is free.
Yes, I know you have been blessed by the video you just watched and I want to tell you that um, the most important thing is not to be delivered. The most important thing is not to be healed. The most important thing is the salvation of our soul. According to the scripture in the book of John chapter 3 verse 16, that for God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him will not perish but have everlasting life. I want you to say this prayer after me if you have not said this prayer before. I say after me, Lord Jesus, I know I'm a sinner. I know that I've lived a life that is against your will. But right now, I come to you like a prodigal child and I ask that you forgive me of my sins. I ask that you cleanse me of my iniquity and I ask that you become the Lord of my life right now in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Right now, if you said this prayer, I want to welcome you to the family of Christ. Welcome you to the family of heaven. And I want to let you know that this is the beginning of many great testimonies in your life. God bless you. Thank you so much for watching this video. And I also want you to like, subscribe, and follow us on this page to be able to see wonderful, amazing miracles and have your faith ignited to believe God for the best that is always yet to come. God bless you. My name is Jeff Adetsberg. Thank you so much.